And you gentlemen are? The name is Beans. Kadra Beans. This is Mr. Laddu. Who's the five brothers? I only agree to meet with you two. They're just here to make sure the deal goes down fine. Enough to chat, where's the door? It's in the boot. First we see the goods. Of course. It's chili powder, it's not cardo enough. What you're trying to pull? What are you talking about? That's the best illegal chili powder you can get. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just a minute. What are you talking about? That's the best illegal chili powder you can get. So, do you gentlemen know what that means? What are you talking about? You bastard! Not you, Lado. These oars. All right. Okay, firstly I must let you know, I was very hesitant in doing this consultation. I normally see husband and wives together, but I'll make this an exception. You were disturbed on the phone, so let's just hope that we can make some progress today. Now tell me, what seems to be the problem? Okay, calm down. I'm here to help you. It's good you're venting off your feelings. I know exactly how you feel. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to overreact like that. 
It's just that I've been through hell recently. No problem at all. I understand. I've handled various cases like this before. I know you've been through a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you find a solution to your problem. But in order to do that, I'm going to ask you specific questions. Is that okay? Okay. Good. You need to be extremely honest. Answer openly without holding anything back. No other marriage counselors would do this with just one affected party. They normally would interview both. I must stress this. But in this case, seeing that your husband's not cooperating, we have no other choice but to go this route. Okay. It's obvious you have a major problem with your husband. So let's start there and analyze the entire situation. But tell me, when did you meet him and how was your life before you married him? He was so wonderful before we got married. He used to treat me so well. We used to go out so often. Now I can't even get him to go to take me out and buy groceries. He tells me straight out, go support the taxis. We are moving a bit too fast. We are analyzing instances after your marriage. In order for me to get the full picture, start from the time you two first met. Okay. We were at uh, Bollywood Cafe, you know, at Coconut Grove. I was with um, my now ex-boyfriend. And Ruben, I'm not quite sure where he was sitting. I need to do something with my life. I can't sit and wait for you. You go away to PE and Joburg and leave me all alone here in Durban. I'm not interested in your damn excuses. You don't have to shout, you know. Just shut up. People are beginning to stare. You are making a spectacle of yourself. Who's staring? Let them stare. I don't give a damn anymore. Look, Prakash, I told you that I'm sorry. I will not do that again. What more do you want me to do? That's what you bloody said the last time. The next time I go out on business again, you're going to go clubbing with your silly friends again. Well, maybe if you gave my feelings some consideration sometimes. Look, I'm going to cut to the point. I brought you here for one reason and one reason only. This is the place where we first met. And you know what? I think it's only appropriate that I say goodbye to you once and for all. You bad news, girl. What? You breaking up with me? After all that we've been through? Just think of it this way. You're an itch and now you've been scratched. Goodbye. I'm Ruben. Sorry, I just saw what happened there. This guy's an idiot. Don't worry about him. I can't believe people are doing things like this these days. What's this world coming to? I mean, cousin of mine, uh, he was going out with his girl for five years. I mean, five years going out with a girl. He wasn't even proposed to her yet. And he decides, oh no, he wants some, something new in his life. He decides to make a change. Who makes a change after five years going out with a girl? I know these guys. I can't remember the names or anything. But like I said, relationship. Mm. Don't think mine has sugar. Yeah, but can I have yours? Mm. That is so much better. Probably because your lips has touched this, it's so much sweeter. I mean, this friend of mine, he's been going out with this girl for about three or four years. Name's Rajan. I mean, it's unbelievable what guys do these days. I mean, Three years with one girl, it's unbelievable. I don't know why guys are doing this these days. Look at this chip, for example. Look how frail it looks, but I'm sure deep within it is a beautiful taste. Just like you. I mean, I'm sure deep within you is a beautiful person. Who are you again? Uh, Ruben? You want to get out of here? Oh, sorry. I thought I could cheer you up, but it's okay, I'll leave. No, no, wait. I mean, do you want to take me out of here? Sure, come on, let's get out of here.
where are you all pushed up to go? Oh, it's Auntie Pushpa's son's 21st birthday party, so I'm going to the party. Oh, and me? What happened to me? They forgot to invite me. They've only got place for one. And what, I'll take the place of 10 people. What you laughing for, like Naina? Hmm? And as for that bloody lady from next door, why she don't stay in her own house, man? Every day she must come visiting. What y'all talk about every time I'm in the bathroom? Nothing. She just finds out how's everybody. What she must find out how's everybody? The next time she comes here, I'm gonna tell her to mind her own business. She doesn't know it's late. She'll come visiting when everybody wants to go and sleep. Leave her, Saras. Leave her, Saras? Hmm? Every time she comes here, she comes here when I'm bathing. Something fishy there. I know something is up. She must be coming and putting mooty or something. See, Saras, you mustn't think like that, eh? How would you like if somebody spoke about you like that? They can only try me. I'll finish them. See how angry you are getting? Imagine how angry she will get. The problem with that lady is she needs a daughter-in-law. Shame. She got such a nice son. But she'll be lucky if she can find a nice person like me. Somebody is hooting. I think I'd rather leave. All right. Bye-bye now. Yeah, you'd rather go then. The problem with y'all is y'all don't appreciate nice daughter-in-laws like me. <laughs> You bought a new car. You bought me some clothes. You're taking me overseas. No, Dad. I found a girl. Yeah? Where she was lost? Dad, you're not listening to me. Huh. I'm gonna get married to this girl. Good boy, Dad. <laughs> you're inviting me for the wedding. Dad. Where's Amma? Uh, Ma? Hey, don't scream, don't scream. She's gone next door. Whole day she talks stories and stay. Night time she's going to do bedtime stories. Hmm. Who's this girl? Yeah. Her name is Natasha. Oh, Natasha, ready? From two to nine. No, not that girl. This is Natasha Super Sad. Natasha Super Sad, isn't that Hindi? Yeah, so? That, that, that's Hindi. Ma, guess what? Just wait. Hey, you know that poor woman next door? She's having such a hard time. She have to make tea or do anything. She must get a permission from her daughter-in-law. And where you saw like that? Lucky you haven't got anybody. Hey, I don't know what I'll do. Ma, wait, 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 wait. You better and save her. If I tell her the news. What news? Ruben found one girl. Oh, that's nice. Where she was lost? She was not lost. Ruben will marry one girl. Dad, I have to marry a girl. What you want? I must marry a man. Y you really found a girl? Yeah, wait, wait, let me finish the story. Ruben found one Hindi girl. He's gonna marry one Hindi girl. No, 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 no. Not a Hindi girl, please. I'll have too much of problem. As it is, the lady next door got so much of problem. Now you and I must have a problem in this house. No, not at all. Ma, you're overreacting. I'm overreacting. I'm overreacting. Okay, okay, stop wait, screaming. I'm not screaming, man. Don't scream, man. The neighbors will call the police. Screaming for. You shut up! And listen here, you. Hindi girl, Tamil boy, no such things. Ma, listen. You need to get this idea out of your head. I don't have to do anything! Listen, Ma. I am not Tamil, she is not Hindi. I speak English, she also speaks English. We are the same religion. She is Indian, I am Indian. What is the problem? There's no problem. 
Ma, why are you making such a big fuss over this Hindi and Tamil? They are just languages. They are a means of communication. They, it does not mean if one person speaks Tamil, they are more superior. Or if a person speaks Hindi, they are more superior. People who believe that are stupid. Hindi and Tamil are not a means of gaining into heaven. Okay? The person that thinks they are more superior by speaking either language is silly. When you are walking down the street, you see a dead body lying there. You say, ah, shame. Look at the poor dead Tamil body. No, you do not do things like that. So please, once and for all, get this out of your head. Now, is everyone clear about this? You know you must make me happy. Your father said you must take care of me. He wouldn't like anybody to come and dictate to me. Well, I said that. Ma, what are you scared for? You're my only child. I don't want to lose you. Ma, you've got nothing to be worried about. I'll bring her home. You can meet her. I don't like it, eh? I don't like it one bit. I'd rather be honest with you. I'm just telling for a word. What if she's like Cyrus? Relax, Ma, please. <laughs> anyway, nobody can be as bad as Cyrus. I'm just saying for a word. But don't worry, you'll get to meet her tomorrow.